The next thing that we will see is how do you create images from embedding. So, let me see what that means. So, remember that each of these things can be thought of as an embedding of the image, right? Because you had this original image which was 227 cross 227 dimensional, and now you have a 4096 representation for that, or a 256 cross 7 cross 7 representation for that. So, you could just flatten it as an, uh, out as a vector, and you could treat that as an embedding for the original image, right? Now, for any kind of embedding or hidden representation, what do we always want from that representation? Think autoencoders. It should capture all the important characteristics of the original image, and in particular, I should be able to dash the original image from it, <laughs> reconstruct the original image from it, right? So, that is what I would want from a good embedding. So, let us see if we can do this, right? So, find an image. This is the optimization problem that I am interested in. Find an image such that its embedding is similar to a given embedding. What do I mean by that is, suppose I take a monkey image and pass it through all these layers and compute all these embeddings, right? Now, again I start with a blank image and my optimization problem is such that for this blank image, I want to modify it. So, again this blank image is my parameter matrix and I want to modify it such that the embedding that it produces should be similar to the embeddings that the monkey image produced. So, how can you set this as an optimization problem? What would your loss function be? So, let us call the original monkey image as I1, okay? And let us call this as embedding of I1. Now, can you tell me what the objective function would be? For the new image that you are trying to create, this entry, the first entry in its output, that let me call that E i 2, okay. So, E i 2 1 and E i 1 1, that means the first dimension of the embedding, they should both be very close. So, in such cases, what is the error function that you will choose? Square error loss, right. So, you have to get comfortable with designing these loss functions, right. So, you have seen you have seen this loss function before. We just have to be able to relate it to the problem that you are trying to work on, okay? So, let phi 0 be the embedding of the image of interest. Let x be a random image and we will report this, uh, repeat this forward pass using x and compute phi of x, right? That means we are computing the embedding of this uh, random image that we have started with. Then we compute this loss function and add appropriate regularization for that and back propagate and update what? What will you update? Image, right? So you will update your X matrix, right? And you will keep doing this till convergence and let us see what happens, right? Suppose, so now what I am trying to do is, this is my original image and I have the convolution 1 embedding of it. So, in this, I am using convolution 1 as the embedding and then I am trying to solve this optimization problem to recreate X such that it is very close to the original image. So, let us see what are the different outputs that I get. So, this is the original image and on the right hand side you have the reconstructed image such that the con 1 embedding of both the images is the same. So, you can see that when I am trying to do a reconstruction from the con 1 layer, I get almost the same image back. Now, if I keep doing it from different layers, what do you expect it to be? If I do it from con 2, con 3, con 4 and so on, it would not be so accurate, right? So, let us see what happens if I try to reconstruct it from conf 2 or relu 1, max pooling, norm 1, conf 2, relu 2. I am keep, I am going deeper and deeper into the network. So, what I am trying to do here is, remember that I have different choices for these embeddings. So, the first thing which I showed you was when I was trying to, the first thing was when I was trying to set my objective function such that I am trying to map this embedding. The second image that I showed you was when I was trying to map this embedding and the last image that I will show is when I was trying to map these two embeddings. So, my objective function was to create an image such that this embedding of the created image is the same as this embedding of the original monkey image, right? So, that is what I am progressively trying to do and as you can see as I keep going ahead, I get more and more abstractor reconstructions, right? I do not really get the monkey back. And once I go to the last FC6 or FC7 layers, I get very weird looking reconstructions. And that is ex expected, right? Because by that layer, 
they've completely abstracted it out, right? You have just probably captured there's something like a nose, there's something like eyes or some fur here and there, but you've lost the entire shape and other characteristics of the original image, right? From the deeper layers, the construction wouldn't be that good and that's kind of expected, right? In spite of having the max, you know, you could, right? The maximal operation is just another embedding it's just that the compression there is much more because you have ignored the four entries and just taken the max value. So it becomes harder and harder to do that. But I mean you, I wouldn't call this as reconstruction, right? What you see here is not, except for the con one and con two layers, the rest of the things are not really such accurate reconstruction. So it just says that you're losing a lot of information in that abstraction or maybe not, I'll do it next time. <laughs>